بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Welcome to our 12th lesson of our simplified Tajweed series which is a series of Tajweed lessons introduced by Quran University uniquely designed Quran learning management system with the purpose of introducing Tajweed in a modern and easy approach. Through this series of lessons you'll be introduced to Tajweed rules using a unique, modern and innovative approach to teach Tajweed utilizing the color codes of Mus'haf al-Tajweed as a common denominator to link between those lessons and Tajweed rules. With such approach we aim to make the understanding of Tajweed rules much easier and help you to practically apply those rules while reading the Quran. In the previous introduction about Nun Sakin and Tanween, we mentioned that there are four rules, four possible Tajweed rules that would arise from the Nun Sakina or Tanween convergence, meaning meeting with another letter of the alphabet. And those four possible rules were Iqlab, Idram, Ivhar, and Ikhfa. And we said that the rule would be based on the letter that follows the Nun Sakin and Tanween. And in the case of a club, that letter would be the ba. And in case of a drum, there would be either those letters in green or the letters in gray. And we said uh, if we have the ya, nun, mim, and wow, it will be an idram with runna. And it is mentioned in the green letters of the world year maloon. While in the case of lam and ra, it would be idram without runna, which in turn is represented by the gray letters of the same world year maloon. Then we talked about idhar saying that it has six letters and then we talked about ikhfa and we said that it would be related to the rest of the letters of the alphabet. This lesson is dedicated for the iqlab and its letter ba. In that introduction we had also introduced the meaning of iqlab by stating that iqlab means qalab al-shay to turn it upside down or to exchange it with something else. So basically iqlab means exchange and we give an example on that. If we take the word M bi um, there are nun sakina followed by a ba with kasra within a single one word. Now, if we look at the rule of tajweed here, it should be pronounced M bi um. We're going to exchange the nun with a meme. Instead of saying N bi um, we say M bi um. And that exchange is basically what a club is. So, Iqlab is the meeting of Nun Sakina with a verbalized Ba, resulting in exchanging the Nun Sakina with a Mim. So Iqlab is exchange. And it only happens with the letter Ba. So let's start Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim for our topic of this lesson, which is Iqlab for Nun Sakina and Tanween, which means exchange or replacement. So the Arabic name of replacement is Iqlab, and the Arabic title is Iqlab al-Nun Sakina wa Tanween. And our objectives for this lesson is to help you learn the applied Tajweed definition of Iqlab for still Noon, the Noon Sakina and Tanween, and learn about the letters of Iqlab and take examples of the Iqlab rules and practice what we have learned by attempting to extract cases of Iqlab from the Quran and apply the proper Tajweed rules on them. In our Quran learning management system, whether we're using the desktop version or the mobile version, in both cases, we use the Uthman script of Medina Mus'haf with Tajweed color codes. The objective of these color codes is to alert us to the presence of Tajweed rules while reading the Quran. And we call these colors Qawaidu Alwani Tajweed, where every Tajweed rule, Hukum, is given a unique color code. So, we'll start our lesson by defining the colors used in Mus'haf al-Tajweed for a club, which are basically the color gray for non-pronounceable and the color green for a small meme on top of the noon, where whenever a noon comes with a ba after it, a noon sakina followed by a ba, the noon is exchanged with a meme, and thus the word iqlab, meaning exchange, the meme with unna, and that's why it's appearing green, and the noon, since it's non-pronounceable, it's exchanged with the meme, it appears in gray as an unpronounceable letter. So, if we look here, among the colors used in this Tajweed color legend, we'll find the color green, which indicates the hiding ikhfa and gunna nasal tone. And we'll also find the color gray, which indicates merger, idram, and non-pronounceable. So, if we look in this Quran page for a word with a letter in gray, with a small green meme on top of it, we'll find this tumbit. Tumbit is a word that has a nun sakina, followed by a ba with haraka, ba with kasra, 
and the noon itself has a gray color and on top of it we'll find a small meme with green color. This indicates that the noon will be non-pronounceable for which we have given it the color gray while replacing it with a meme with unna represented by the small green meme. And this is the basis for our definition of iqlab where we replace the noon with a meme tumbit instead of tunbit. Now we're going to remind you with the relationship of tanween and still noon. So what's tanween and what's the relationship of tanween and noon sakina? As we said noon sakina is basically one of the letters of the alphabet with a sukun, with still, no haraka. Now the tanween, it is an extra noon sakina added to the end of a name, any name. And it's written in the format of duplicate fatha or duplicate kasra or duplicate damma. So there are three types of tanween. Tanween with fath, tanween with kasr, tanween with dam. And the example is as we see here for the word kitab. Kitab is a book. Now a book with tanween, uh, fath, kitaban, or kitabun, tanween dam, or kitabin, tanween with kasr, uh, duplicate fatha, duplicate dhamma, duplicate kasra. And it is pronounced like this, kitaban, kitabun, kitabin. So basically, after the word kitab, there is an unsakina with a fatha on the last letter of kitab, and that's tanween fatha. So nun sakina is basically a part of tanween. So tanween, the word tanween means adding a nun. Nun tanween. So thus we conclude that the tanween adds a nun sakina to the end of the word. And accordingly, same rules of tajweed that applies for the nun sakina would automatically apply for the tanween. Now we have enough background to define a club. A club linguistically can be defined as the process of replacing one thing with another, or exchanging the two things with each other, or flipping them up. In applied Tajweed definition, the iqlab is exchanging of the nun sakina with a meme, yet maintaining the ghunna, the nasal tone. So in case of the nun sakina, when we have the two letters meeting, the first is a still nun, nun sakina, and the second is ba, within two successive words or within the same single word. And for tanween is the meeting of two letters. The first one is a noon of the tanween, and the second one is a ba within two successive words. Tanween happen only at the end of the word, so it cannot be in the middle of a single word. Now, in both cases, the rule would be to exchange the still noon, that of the noon sakina or that of the tanween, with a meme maintaining the hunna of the noon and the meme. Example, an bi'uni would be iqlabd or exchanged, the noon would be exchanged into meme, am bi'uni. Of course, we don't write it this way. We pronounce it that way. An bi'uni becomes am bi'uni. We replace the noon sakina here with a meme. And we maintain the gunna, am bi'uni. The reason for that is that the meme, the letter meme, is a middle letter between ba and noon. Meme shares the labial articulation with the ba, and meme shares the nasal articulation with the noon and thus the gunna. Noon and meme, both of them, has a nasal articulation and a gunna. Let's elaborate a bit on what we have just mentioned about having the meme as a middle letter between the noon and ba. Remember what we've mentioned about the meme articulation. The meme is a letter that has two articulation zones, an oral, bilabial one, and a nasal which gives the ghunna characteristic of the meme. Meme having two articulation zones. This is the labial coming from the lips. This is why we call it and label it as a labial letter. And the upper one where the meme articulates at the nasopharynx. That's why we consider the meme as a nasal letter. If we now revise the articulation zones of the noon, we'll remember that it has also two articulation zones, one oral and one nasal. This is the oral articulation zone. It is a lingual, lingual tip letter. And this is the nasopharynx one. And that's why we label it as a nasal letter, like the meme. And let's now revise what we have learned about the ba articulation, which contrary to the meme and noon, has only one articulation zone, which is at the lips. And that's why we classify it as a labial letter. Now we can understand the reason for a clap. 
Mim is a middle letter between Ba and Nun. If we look at the Mim, we find that it shares the Nun, its nasal pharynx articulation point. So the Nun and Mim, both of them are nasal letters. They both articulate at the nasal pharynx. At the same time, the same Mim articulates with the Ba both at the lips, the reason why we call both of them labial letters, meaning articulating at the lips. So the Mim shares its nasal articulation with the Nun, and that's why both have Gunna. On the other hand, the Mim shares with the Ba its articulation at the lips, being labial. This intermediate position between the Nun and the Ba is what facilitates a clab of the Nun. When a Nun Sakina meets a Ba Mutaharrika, it would be much easier to convert it into a Mim. So it would be pronounced a Mim rather than a Nun. For example, it's easier to say Mim Ba'dihim rather than saying Min Ba'dihim. Nun and Ba are far, Min Ba'dihim, while Mim and Ba are closer. So saying Mim Ba'dihim is much easier than saying min ba'dihim with a nun. And now we're going to illustrate what we have learned by giving examples. Here we're going to have the examples of the still nun in single word, in the same word, and in two words. While well, the examples of tanween are always in two words. First example is an bi'um. An bi'um. Nun sakina followed by a ba mutaharrika with haraka. We convert or we eliminate the noon and exchange it with a meme, it will be pronounced like M B Om. M B Om. The second example, N Burika. Two words with the first having the noon second at the end of it and the second having the ba with haraka, ba with dhamma at the beginning of it. Now we can make a clap. We're going to exchange the noon with a meme and it will sound like this. M burika, M burika, M burika. Third example is for tanween, semi'un basir. Two words always with tanween. First is tanween with bum, followed by a ba with fatha. Semi'un basir, semi'un basir. We're exchanging the noon of the tanween with a meme. Sami'um basir, yet maintaining a gunna. Last example is another tanween in two words. Hillum bihada. Wa anta hillum bihada al balad. Hillum bihada, lam with tanween with dam, followed by a ba with kasra. We exchange the noon of tanween with a meme and it will sound like hillum instead of hillun. It will sound like hillum. And now let's apply what we have learned by extracting Iqlab for Nusakina and Tanween from the verses shaded in green and conclude the related Tajweed rule. Don't forget that the shaded or exchanged Noon is going to be in grey because it's not pronounced. And on top of it will be a green meme indicating the Ghunna. The example here is Mim Ba'di. We see that the Noon is in gray because it's not pronounced. And on top of it is a small meme in green indicating a clap from the Noon into the meme, exchanging the Noon into meme and giving Gunna for the meme. Mim Ba'di. Same thing here. Baghyam Baynahum. There is a meme on the Tanween. And we'll see also Mim Ba'di. Same thing as this one. Mim Ba'dihim. And here we'll summarize the whole lesson in one slide. We've talked about the letter of Iqlab, which is the Ba. We've talked about the rule, which is replacing the Nun Sakina, or the Tanween, when followed by the Ba into a Mim, hiding the Nun yet maintaining the Gunna. And we said the symbol is a small Mim on top of a gray Nun, or Tanween. And then we give examples for... Nun Sakina, in one word, Ambihum, and in two words, Amburika. And examples for Tanween, where it happens only in two words, Samiyu'am Basir, Hillum Bihada. And with this summary, we reach the end of our lesson on Klab for Nun Sakina and Tanween. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that, Bi'awnihi wa qudratih, 
that the Quran Learning Management System برنامج الجامعة لحفظة كتاب الله would help you inshallah to improve your tajweed and improve your tilawah and help you in improving your recitation and help you if you want in memorizing the Quran and to help you understand the Quran in the proper way. As we reach the end, we ask Al-Mawla Azza wa Jal أن يتقبل منا هذا العمل We ask Allah Almighty to accept this work from us and we ask you to make dua for those who participated in making this work come to life and reach you. Hoping you all the best. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.